It was the worst flu I've ever had. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to head out on my 2018 Goldwing for the first time in over two weeks. Let's get it fired up. And I've got a little errand to run today. I have to go get an inspection sticker for the bike. And in Texas, you can't get your license tag registrations renewed until you have your inspection sticker so that's my task at hand I found a place right around the corner that says they will do the inspection I would usually take it over to Maxim Honda to get it done and I thought well here's an opportunity to just do a little motor vlog it's been a couple of weeks since I talked to you many of you know that we were out of town for a week. We were on the Carnival Panorama uh, on a project for our other website, cruisereport.com. We've already got one of the videos up on our YouTube channel for Cruise Report. So if you're interested in cruising, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Now this is probably gonna be a pretty short motor vlog today because uh, like I say, the place I'm getting inspected is right around the corner, so I may stop the video for a while while they do the inspection, and then I'll pick it up on the way home. In addition to being gone for a week, as soon as we got back into town, Ricky and I both came down with a really serious flu virus. Uh, she came down with it the day before I did. She actually came down with it on the flight on the way home. And then uh, a couple days later, I started coughing and getting the chills. And it was without a doubt, in fact, I'm still recovering from it. But it was the worst flu I've ever had. It was really, really rough. I was uh, completely off my feet for a week. Um, didn't get much sleep for three nights. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me, but what all the research I did would indicate that I might have actually had a mild case of pneumonia. So, I have always kind of thumbed my nose at the idea of getting flu shots. But I'll tell you what, uh, this one made a believer out of me. And whenever they come out with the new flu shot next season, whether it's September or October, I will be first in line to get a flu shot. Now, I know they're only about 79% effective. That's okay. I'll take my chances with 79%. And I guess at this age, you just can't take the risks. Uh, some of you know what I'm talking about. Now, if any of you had the flu this year, I had influenza type A, but if any of you had the flu this year, put it in the comments down below. Let me know what your experiences were, and uh, hopefully you came through it okay. I think we're going to come through it okay. Ricky's a little behind me. She was ahead of me uh, on getting it, and she's a little behind me on getting over it. But I think I'm on the downhill side. I think I'm about 90% back to normal. I still have a little cough every now and then. Still coughing up a little bit of stuff from time to time. Now I'm going to do a little shortcut here. I'm going to sneak through some parking lots to get to this uh, Christian Brothers Automotive, which is the place I'm taking the bike for the inspection. And this is just a little way to avoid the traffic and not have to mess with it even though you got a couple of speed bumps you got to deal with love those speed bumps so hopefully everything will be back on track with the YouTube channel it's uh, like I say it's been a couple of weeks so I apologize for the delay and getting out some information to you I'm backlogged on videos to produce I've got some new products I'm supposed to be reviewing and testing and 
I will start getting right on that. Like I say, I'm still recovering, so I kind of have to wait until I get to where I feel closer to 100% before I can do a lot of this. But I will get right on it as soon as I can. And we just got a new car wash here. And they just opened uh, not too long ago. It took them over a year to build the place. This must have spent a fortune on building that place. I don't know how you make enough in a car wash to pay for that, but... So, I'm pretty close to pulling into Christian Brothers. And we'll see about getting this inspection sticker taken care of. And then I will get back on the GoPro. And I'll have, I have a little GoPro news for you too. So we'll catch up on that when I get done. Well, I was able to get my inspection sticker done here at uh, Christian Brothers, which is just right around the corner from my house. Less than five minutes, which is a real convenience because normally, like I say, I ride over to Maxim Honda, and that's about a 35-40 minute ride from here. Uh, but these guys had no interest in riding the bike. So basically, it was just a matter of showing them the uh, headlights, turn signals. He didn't even check the horn. So it wasn't exactly a very thorough inspection. Uh, but that's okay. I just want it so I can get my uh, license tags renewed. So I'm just working my way back around the parking lot here, past the car wash. Gonna head back home. Now I will be doing a more extensive uh, motor vlog later in the week, maybe uh, tomorrow or Saturday, because it's supposed to get quite a bit warmer. It's about 55, no, actually it says it's 63 degrees on my dash. It's supposed to get up in the 70s this weekend. So hopefully I'll be feeling up to it. And the weather looks like it's going to cooperate. So I will get back and uh, do some get back into the swing of things with the motive logs and the product reviews and installations we've been getting a huge response from the video I did on the tailblazer path blazer installations I love mine as you know and the Muth signal mirrors LED sequential signal mirrors huge response I know a lot of you guys have ordered those for your bikes and uh, I absolutely love mine. I think they just add a tremendous amount of safety and just, I just love them. So I will be soon working on a new video, kind of a part two of my Goldwing accessory reviews. I did one uh, several months ago, maybe a year ago, I'm not sure how long it was, where I went through and talked about all the different aftermarket parts I'd added to the Goldwing. And I've added quite a few new things since that time, so I want to make sure I get all of those things included and, and give you some kind of reviews and ratings on now that I've ridden with these products for a while, what I think of them and how I like them. So I've also got another topic I'm going to talk about uh, here in a couple of days. Uh, dealing with the trunk and saddlebag space on this 2018 plus Honda Goldwing. So I want to thank all of you for joining me today. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Now's the time of year to get your bike ready to ride for the spring. And those videos will show you everything you need to know to maintain your own Goldwing and save you tons of money in the process they'll more than pay for themselves the first time or two that you use them so check those out at cruisemansgarage.com and don't forget to click on that little subscribe button down below and if you click on the bell icon youtube should notify you when we come out with a new video so thanks again for joining me 
thanks again for all of you that uh, sent me uh, get well messages on Facebook and YouTube I appreciate it I read all your comments and I will see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.